So are we now looking at segregated cycle lanes for buyers? We've always been looking at segregated cycle lanes as one of the many options that were on the table. Uh, throughout this process, we've been looking at ways to balance all the different needs of all the different people who use Barrows Road. Uh, certainly now, as a result of the consultation responses, we've got a very clear message that segregation would be welcomed. So that is something that we're looking at more intensively. Uh, since the consultation responses uh, came back and were analysed, uh, over the past six to eight weeks, we have been looking uh, at various options uh, to introduce segregation, so it certainly is still very much on the table. There are still challenges then to looking ahead to get, to get the scheme that everybody is going to be happy with. Absolutely. With any street, you've got to make compromises, you've got to find ways of meeting as many needs as possible. Uh, what the consultation response has given us is a public mandate to uh, increase uh, the priority of walking and cycling on that street. Certainly the consultation responses were very positive about us making the walking environment better and also uh, they did tell us that they would like us to go even further in terms of the cycling provision, so that is what we're going to be doing. But absolutely, there are technical challenges uh, ahead with any street design. We've got a long process to go through in terms of the legalities of making uh, that road redesign uh, ready for uh, construction probably next autumn. So one of the challenges will be what you do with parking bays along Byers Road? Parking is always going to be a challenge in any urban environment. What we're looking at is the wider neighbourhood. How do we make sure that Barrett Road works for everybody that lives and works and visits that area? Uh, we need to think about what parking provision is available for those who need their cars to reach the area. But at the same time, we've made it very clear as a city that we're prioritising sustainable transport. That's walking, cycling and public transport. So we want to make it as easy as possible for people to use those modes to get to and through Barrett Road.